Hey everyone, it's Duncan Epping, yellowbricks.com, and today I've got another demo for you with regards to disaggregated vSAN. What I'm going to show you today is I'm going to mount the data store of a stretch cluster configuration. As you can see, the this cluster that I'm showing you right now is actually a stretch cluster. So there's a non-preferred and a preferred location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a non-stretch cluster configuration and I'm going to mount the remote data store from that stretch cluster configuration. So this is something that was introduced in vSAN 8.0 update one. So it's only supported with this particular version and up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click mount remote data store. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the data store that I'll be mounting. Now, as you can see, a new section pops up on the left side called select network topology. And this has everything to do with the fact that it's a stretch cluster configuration because now I need to specify what kind of network connectivity there is between those locations. It's either symmetric or asymmetric and that has everything to do with the latency from my client to the server. So I can either select uh, symmetric, which means that I don't have to pair sites. But if I select asymmetric and I want to pair sites, I now need to select which location to which location I have the lowest latency. That could potentially, for instance, mean that my servers are located in the same location as the servers that are part of the preferred full domain, which I've just selected. Now, after I click next, next, finish, the connection from my hosts to the remote vSAN data store is going to be created leveraging those hosts in the preferred full domain, which I've just selected. And that ensures that when I do IO to that particular data store, that it will use the lowest latency path available. Now, as you can see, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a virtual machine. When I create a virtual machine, of course, I can select the policy. I'm going to select the stretch cluster policy, and then I will select the data store, which is stretched, which in my case is vSAN data store. As you can see, when I scroll to the right, the placement says remote, which means that it's my remote data store. Now I'm just going to provision my virtual machine. And then what I want to do next is I want to show you the placements of the components so that we know for sure that it has been placed on that remote data store on a stretch cluster configuration. So I'm clicking the virtual machine, then I'm going to, go, going to go to monitor and I will look at my physical object placements. So let's click on the physical disks and then I can see the different objects that we have available. But as you can see, the screen has slightly changed because it now says remote objects and remote object placements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to remote object details and, and remote object details, I can actually see that my components are stretched across non-preferred and preferred. Hopefully it was useful. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.